by now we are little bit familiar with c programs at least we know how is the structure of a c program what are the features what are the tokens and character set we use in c programs now you think of a scenario where you are writing a program and in that program you are solving mathematical problems related to mensuration now we all have studied mathematics and in mensuration we know that deals with length breadth perimeter surface area etc of different geometric figures and we know that when we calculate especially the area of different geometric figures the pi this letter plays an important role now suppose we are writing a simple program but in that program we are calculating areas of several geometric figures so we have used the symbol pi in several places like 20 to 30 places say now we also know that pi is an infinite decimal so what we do mostly is we approximate that value to 3.14 and we use in those formulae to calculate the areas now suppose after writing the program and after doing one round of testing we have seen that the results that we have actually obtained is not as per our expectations so we need a little more accuracy so what we can do is we may change the value of pi from 3.14 to some other value like we may consider some more digits after decimal point so in that case what we have to do we have to go to every place in that program in our program where we have used pi and we have to edit that value we have to replace that value from 3.14 we have to change to some other value so in our program if we are using that value of pi in say 20 to 30 places then there is a possibility while modifying our program that we may miss out a few places to change the value of pi and if that happens then in most of the cases we will get the desired result and for few cases we will not get desired result or we may get error in our result or outcome this is a simple case of pi we it may happen that we are using such a value that plays a very important role in real scenario or in business so if we while modifying the program if we miss even if we miss a single place to modify then that may introduce a huge loss in business so you can realize the depth of this type of problem or the scenario where we face this type of problem in modification of the program now think of another scenario where we are calculating the marks of all the students of all the sections in our class so it may happen that uh, in every section or in every class there are 30 number of students and it may also happen that the pass marks of each subject for all those students in that school or maybe college that is also 30 or at the same time it may also happen that in that school or college there are total the number of classes is also 30 so though the parameters are different they have different meanings number of students the pass marks in each subject total number of classes but their values coincidentally their values are same and again we we are calculating different marks average marks total marks their grade point and everything in our program by using different formulae and everywhere for all these parameters in the program we will be using the same value 30 so it may happen when we will be going through uh, such a program then we may face problem in understanding that program like in any calculation if we see 30 that value then we may not instantly understand or quickly understand that what that 30 refers to whether that 30 refers to number of students or whether it is pass marks or whether that is total number of classes so sometimes we face that type of problem in understanding the program so now the question comes in our mind then what is the solution how we can overcome this type of problem of modification of the program or understanding of the program so answer or solution to that problem is symbolic constants symbolic constant is actually a constant identifier in c programs which is not like other variables that we use in our c programs and those constants symbolic constants are declared and initialized with their fixed values or constant values before the main function starts and how it is used in the program suppose the for the first problem where we are solving 
mensuration related problems and there in several places we have used pi so before the program starts if we can declare a constant identifier called pi and if we can assign a constant value to that pi and later in the body of the program in the execution part of the program if instead of using that value 3.14 if we use this symbol this symbolic constant pi everywhere in the program then later if there is a need to change that value then only at one place we will be changing the value and that is the place where we have declared and assigned the value so instead of 3.14 we will be using this time some other value and that will be reflected in every part of the program wherever we have used this symbolic constant pi so that is the concept that means symbolic constants provide this advantage of modifiability in the program or in the c program similarly in the second scenario where we are using number of students pass marks and total number of classes and everywhere the value is 30 and we face problem in understanding the program what we can do before the main function starts what we can do we can again declare a few constant identifiers or symbolic constants like strength which will represent the number of students in that class then pass marks which will represent the pass marks of every subject and also at the same time another symbolic constant say total classes which will represent the total number of classes in that school or maybe in that college and we will assign the values to every symbolic constant there itself and later in the body of the program in place of 30 we will be using strength in place of 30 we will be using pass marks in place of 30 we will be using total classes so when we were simply using the value or directly using the value say 30 and we were confused that what actually that 30 means refers to which value which variable and now in the calculation in place of 30 when when we will get strength we will understand okay this actually means the total number of students in the class now in place of 30 when in the program we will be getting this symbolic constant pass marks we will easily understand okay this actually signifies the pass marks in each subject so what we can see here that symbolic constants actually increases the understandability of the program so these are the advantages of using symbolic constants now we will see how we declare a symbolic constant and how we assign the value so this is the syntax that we use it comes with this preprocessor directive hash defined then there will be at least one space and then the symbolic constant name that we have just seen and then again there will be at least one space and then the value of the constant so we have to also remember that these are constants these are not like other variables that we use in our program and they do not appear in the declaration part of the program the way the other variables appear this is a sample program where we have used many symbolic constants as you can see there are strength pass marks total classes and then pi stands for pi and all of them come with this preprocessor directive hash define and that we declare after we mention all the header file names that we use in that particular program these are their corresponding values and then the as per the the normal structure then the main function starts and then within that opening and closing braces we write the declaration part of the program and execution part of the program and in the declaration part we declare all other variables that we use in that program and when we use symbolic constants in our program because of its advantages we have to remember some rules and what are those rules they are written in capitals but this is not a rule this is just a convention that we follow just to distinguish them from normal variables normal vari variables we know they are written in lowercase so just to distinguish we mention or we write the symbolic constants in uppercase no blank space is permitted between hash symbol and that defined keyword hash must be the first character in that line minimum one blank space is required between hash defined and the symbolic constant name 
and also between symbolic constant name and the constant value statement must not end with semicolon the way we have seen in case of declaration and execution part of any c program after definition symbolic constant should not be assigned any other value in the body of the program so whatever value you want to assign that will be assigned just before the main function or the place where we are declaring that symbolic constant and also at the same time we have to remember that we are not using here any assignment symbol that equal sign so just by leaving at least one space we are mentioning the value of that symbolic constant constant names are not declared for data type data type depends on the value so if we are assigning 30 to any symbolic constant then compiler will understand okay the data type for that symbolic constant is integer if we are assigning 3.14 as value then compiler will understand okay the data type for that data for that symbolic constant is float hash defined statements may appear anywhere in the program but as i said that usual practice is in the beginning before the main before we write the main function we declare all those symbolic constants usually between the header files and the main function so that's all about symbolic constants in our next class we will be learning something new so have a good day.